Opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Today, uh, if Kane Williamson can say intent, we trust, but intent we trust is true always for Kiwis, and it worked today as well because Trent Bolt really, he was he was just that was the inspiration, right? But today he just. Didn't have anyone else with him, DK, because each so the they went after. But look at Trent Bolt again. Trent Bolt here. It seems like he's bowled in a different game on a different surface to different batters because he's bowled his four overs for 18 with just two wickets. His first three, especially, I think the fourth one was slightly expensive, but the first three were just absolutely amazing. Uh, but Saudi on the other side, Ish Sodi, that was the key, right? DK once Ish Sodi went for 40 of his three. Kane Williamson sort of, you know, that was one of his trump cards that was negated by Australia. Yes, it's interesting that, uh, you know, for both teams, uh, there are two trump cards, so to say, for Australia. With Mitchell Stark was bowled brilliantly along with Zampa. He got taken down today. And in, in New Zealand's case, obviously, Trent Bolt and uh, Ish Sodi have been the best bowlers. And Ish Sodi was taken down today. You could see the last over he bowled, the amount of pressure he was in. He had to bowl a nine ball over to finish it. So, he's, he was under, under the pump a little bit in that over. Also goes to show big games. Big player, stand up. Trent Bolt for me is a standout player. You know, he's won a couple of titles with Mumbai Indians as well. In the finals, he was a man of the match. Just the just the tone he sets up front with his ability to bowl full and looks to get wickets. And you know, his skill is obviously second to none. He's improved with depth bowling tremendously over a period of time, and he's a champion player, a champion uh, team man to have. And uh, you know, I only have good things to say about him. Again, in this game, you could sh you could see he was so upset with himself towards the end. When he couldn't get that cotton bowled uh, of Mitchell Marsh, which uh, kind of shows his character, but it's such a tough catch. It literally had half a second time coming towards him at a, at a bullet speed for him to drop that. He shouldn't have been too upset, but shows his attitude and shows why he's one of the best in the world. Yeah, Trent Bolt has a strange relationship with catches in finals. So let's not go there. But he's fantastic today with the ball. He really was, especially his first spell up front. Uh, Bolt's just one, uh, you know, one of those special bowlers. Somebody, Zach, who you know really well. Absolutely, no. He's he's, he's someone who uh, really likes uh, the big matches. You know, you can see, and and uh, if, if someone like Trent uh, sets the tone with the new ball, gets that first breakthrough early, uh, he's he's definitely a different uh, bowler, very tough do tough bowler to face. Uh, uh, but I think he was he was the lone ranger today from New Zealand side, isn't it? Like you know, no one no one really uh, backed him. Uh, in that bowling unit, apart from uh, maybe Santner to a certain degree, you know, he, he created that kind of pressure. Uh, but uh, but I think you know once uh, once the middle overs were out of the game for for New Zealand, and once once Australia put that kind of pressure in the middle overs on New Zealand bowlers, uh, they didn't really have a chance to to come back in the game.